Salutations everyone and welcome back to the mod which we're using called Calm Before the Storm which we have to figure out what we want to do with the dockyard. Now, we're building a lot of carriers up which is super important for us even though we should be really be focusing probably more on cruisers and battleships but nah, whatever. Even subs. Uh, I think for now we're going to go ahead and do another carrier. We got so much naval XP, look at that. Just because eventually we're going to make some destroyers which will be important because I want carriers and destroyers to be really, really fast for task forces. That's my goal. I've already finished off off-screen um, northern direction here. So if you want to read about that again, it's really short. Go right ahead. Also, German agreement. We should probably do an Anschluss. I forgot about Anschlussing. So we're going to rush on this side and get through a lot of accomplishments as well. An agreement with Austria would serve to take the Austrians out of the Italian sphere and move it into ours. This would go a long way to bringing Austria closer to integration into the Reich or the Anschluss. Which is actually really good because, like I said last time, we have three things always focusing on military factories. Two things on civvies, and one thing on dockyards or whatever else. Because, as someone did say in the comments, we kind of need to over-prepare for what's going to happen. Eventually, especially since Japan's going to remain fairly neutral in the conflict. Just because their their content kind of ends in 36, which really sucks. But, I, oh, I don't do some of this stuff, but we could get slightly more stability. It wouldn't really matter. We'll get some focuses for that stuff as well. Light tanks. We are using tanks quite a bit right now. Motorized. I love artillery so much. Defense and breakthroughs is really good, too. Medium tanks, we do want to use medium tanks. I want to at least get some stuff for this. Production cost goes down to more max speed, that's not bad. Armor research would be pretty good. But planes, do we want to do plane stuff and or naval stuff? Because right now we already have Messerschmitts, and we can make our fighters extremely good. Sub max speed, that's not bad. Plus 15%, that's not too bad. But more sub torpedo attack, ooh, that's not bad either. I'd love to do all, all, all of these, but Deutsche Vec is not great because you lose some capital ship attack. Less naval speed, no thanks. Range is not bad, capital ship attack is not bad. Destroyer cost goes down. I think I'll just do more plane stuff. And we're always going to be using fighters anyways. I might just try to max out our fighters. Because I want German fighters to be the best in the world. Carrier fighters, Buchler, 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 Flugzeugbau. Flugzeugbau. Um, agility and max speed. And that works for our carrier fighters as well. Agility max speed. Does this double stack? Does this make 20% then? Even more max, well, more agility and more max speed? That might be bad. Or more reliability and range. Getting that range though could be really, really good. More reliability. So if you get more reliability, more range. Does, I don't know if this is stacks. We're going to test it out. You guys probably know, someone knows in probably in the comments below. Because you guys are actually, I'll put it like this, like, this has been a lot of support on this channel for or at least this for this campaign than a lot of my other videos so i do appreciate you guys coming around and watch so i really do appreciate it but do the Anschluss immediately austrian or austria is german there's no denying that however how we must finally establish our administration and make it a true german province yes and we've just got naval bombers which is good because we need some carrier naval bombers right are these carriers or these carriers no this is carrier naval bombers yeah we want these guys early naval bomber which would be good just because as someone did point out in the comments we're gonna need them for our two two carriers the pact of seal a long shared enmity towards the british and the french topping the list the italians and us have many similarities to this end the italian foreign ministers proposed to us a pact of steel which declares a state of trust between the two states alongside a secret provision which deals with increased economic and diplomatic ties effectively creating a binding alliance how do you respond to this proposal no no we'll do the access that's fine uh for this group i'm gonna leave like not a lot of guys here because i really want to make sure that we can hold hopefully hold out here with six divisions, that's not very much, but, uh, actually, let's put our divisions up on, uh, well, actually, uh, you're kind of defensive, Wilhelm List, for now, and we have the other options for him later. I'm gonna put you under someone else. Klusher, there you go. You can be Mr. Defensive for two. Uh, actually, we'll wait. Let's wait first. You guys actually need to finish training as well. That's fine, because we will be focused on this side. Put pressure on Austria, maybe. See what happens. Cool. Comments include, the U.S. gets more focused... More focuses after their election in 36, maybe? That actually could be very, very true. So, hopefully that is true, because FDR looking pretty good with that chin there, but... Oh, reevaluate our foreign policy. Oh, is this... This is different, isn't it? Obey the Supreme Court? Yeah. He wanted to pack the court, which is... Still relevant in our lifetime, we'll put it like that. Anyways, Reorganization Act? Oh, cool. Abandon fiscal conservatism, loans to private industries, begin to mobilize the economy. Undisturbed isolation with isolation, that's pretty good. Protect the workers? Eradicate slums. Repeal the Neutrality Act. Uh, no, they went with Neutrality Act of 36, 38. Maintain diplomatic flexibility. Help sanction Italy. Help China. Warplant Orange. 
uh, prioritize defense, it passes the London Law Agreement. Huh. Well, they're going to go that way, so Austria signs agreement. The Austrians have signed the Austro German Agreement, meaning pro German influence in Austria has increased. We're one step closer to bringing Austria into Germany proper. The Anschluss is coming. Let's hope so. Under the army towards the independent air force. And we have build the Pentagon. This is all American military stuff. Use power. Use speed. Not bad. Maintain the edge. Streamline vehicle production. Uranium Committee, Manhattan Project, Atomic Energy Commission, and send the second Vincent Act. I'm not sure what that is, but okay. Two Ocean Navy Act, Fleet and Being, Carriers of the Future, super, Surpass the Royal Navy. That'd be kind of cool for them, but whatever. We must Anschluss to get more civvies. Anschluss! Cool. And after that, demand the suit at Land. We'll probably do that immediately. We, Tana Bomb actually would be really nice to do, but. I demand Slovenia. We'll demand the Sudetenland first. In order to unite all the Germans, we must demand the Sudetenland from Czechoslovakia. Oh, and they sent a white piece. The Munich Conference. First Vienna Award. Partition of Czechoslovakia would be really nice. What do you say? They accept. Austria accepted our demands, and we're now free to annex the country. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, so you got some mountaineers, you got some divisions. What are you guys like? Not bad, not bad. Actually, they're really not that bad at all. Just go convert them to these guys and throw them on with this dude. There you go. Blaskovitz. Nice. And there you go. Just in case. Boom. And there you go. Nice. Good stuff. And But you guys are what? You have a cavalry division, which I'll probably just convert to infantry. You guys are oh, 12 combat with. It's not bad. I'm going to convert you already to this group as well, because I don't want to use that. And all four of you guys go right there, because I don't really care too much. And then, boom, here you go. And actually, let's reform this. Thank you. Uh, these guys are politically all connected. Henry Chi. There you go. Ah, oh, screw it. Cut, the, cut you down in half as well. There you go. Boom, boom. At least three guys for now. There you go. That's better. Train. Now, what are we missing right now? Minus 17. No, that's not, that's not good. There you go. And we'll go with one from Indo Chinese Union. Uh, that'll be good enough, yeah. That'll be fine. One, two. We need more military factories. 80%. Good. And. 60, there we go. Nice. Very good, very good. We're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. We have 200. What? Factories? How many factories do we have? Numbers. What do these mean? Well, we don't have 200 yet. God dang it. That sucks. Build all this up eventually. That'll be good. And there you go. Ah! Oh, nice. Awesome. I don't trust the French. So there you go. But the rest of you guys come over there. That'll be very good. And Richie, do you have any... In uh, we might want to go scavenger, actually. But we'll wait and see. I want to wait and see what will happen. Any new tech yet? Oh, naval bombers? Yes, we'll probably need those guys eventually. But after we get a lot of cast. I want a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of cast. So we're missing a lot of support equipment, too, which is not very good. Let's go with two more. I'll go with one more right there. We need a few more light tanks as well. Anything else here? Uh, I could probably go and indoctrinate the Hitler Junge Liedenstadt. Cool. And then the First Vienna War. There's a significant majority minority, or Magyar minority, in Slovakia. We should give hung Hungary a southern Slovakia to help weaken the Czechoslovak state. They accept. Czechoslovak Republic has accepted our offer it, of protection of the Sudetenland. Maybe more cooperation is to come? Yeah, totally cooperation. Now we're at 169, not bad, and we're at 1, 2, we need 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, because we're, we have to build up as much as possible. Um, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and eventually we will cut down to 1 city at a time, because we just, we need more stuff done, so. Remote Kurt Student, yes, Carabiners, very good, 38, uh, research. Get research done, we gotta get more research done. We only have 4 research left, which really sucks for us right now. Probably bad to do that right now, but whatever. And expand the Sushiheitz Deans, to make sure that NSD... NSDAP and the SS can function unimpeded. We must strengthen the resources of the security state or security service. Very good. And then partition Czechoslovakia. The Czech lands are the next target for a conquest. We must occupy their lands and create a friendly regime. Absolutely. 38. 39 stuff. All this stuff is 39 stuff. Getting more fuel would be ex is extraordinarily necessary. Extraordinarily necessary, but we, uh, man, we just don't have enough research slots to do everything here. Ah. <laughs> uh. That's 39. That's not bad to get either, but more right there would be good too. 30. Oh. Oh, you go to oh, you go to medium panzers immediately? Huh. That's interesting. Yeah, let's do that. So we will be using panzers to go into France as fast as possible, of course. After the partition, demand Slovenia. We could do that. Ah, Operation Magret. 
Second Vienna Award. Well, let's see. Uh, Czechoslovak, the Swiss. Are they guaranteed? We... They're pretty market liberals. We might be able to go to war with them, which would not be very historically based. How long would this take to do? The Nuremberg Rally. 35 days. That's quite a few days. I think I want to wait to do that one. That was one of the comments for me to do that eventually, so we'll see. Operation Tannenbaum. Switzerland holds many territories valuable to our Reich because of their German-speaking population. The very existence of this direct democracy also serves to personally insult the Fuhrer. Ergo, we shall launch an invasion to take the black spot of Europe off the map. Which hurts our uh, resources a little bit, but that's fine, whatever. Oh, good. Very good. Um, I don't want to hurt this too much, but elections are 38. Elections were held today to further consolidate our power under the National Socialists. This time, it seems that further affections or elections are not necessary, aside from some to be held in the Sudetenland or on its annexation. Not all against votes were discarded, they were actually registered, and our manipulation tactics have provided a very coerced 99% majority for National Socialists. Elections in Germany are now finished. A properly so, I should say, properly so. 80% nice. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we're even building infrastructure at the same time. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, a full lines of industry flowing, going, going, going. We're looking, I'm thinking pretty darn good right now. We've got to be prepared for next year, the annexation of Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia has agreed to allow us to annex their territory, however. We must now decide what to do with it. A protectorate for the Czechs and separate satellite state for the Slovaks? Technically, that's a historical one. Set up a protectorate and a satellite, but give Hungary some territory. Uh... I forget which one. Just release Slovakia? Oh, become a Slovak state. Give some Slovak. I want them to join us, but there's no guarantee they'll actually join us. And they... What is... Do they have a unique focus for here? Maybe not. For the fatherland? Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, yeah. Secure loyalty, maybe? Is this, is, this a, is this a unique one? Maybe not. I'm not seeing anything that says hungry too much. Maybe it is. I can't tell. No, oh, maybe it is Hungarian military, yeah. Alright, uh, protector for the Czechs. Czechoslovak Republic. They become a puppet. Huh. Well, I don't want them to have any of this stuff. Slovak State, Czechoslovak Republic. Set up a protector. Ooh, I kind of want to directly annex everything they have. Separate satellite state. Well, attention goes up by 5 6. Just to release Slovakia. Ooh. I want. I know it's probably not super historical, but that just looks so much nicer. I mean, look how big. Look how we don't have no nothing around here really bulging out. And we have the mountains under us too. I'm sorry. I just it just looks so nice that way. It's so nice. Fortify the West Wall. That'll be good. Uh, we'll probably do the rivalry as well, but that's not super needed right now. We'll do Operation Town and Bomb. It's only two weeks to do, and hopefully we can do win that one pretty darn quickly. Maybe we'll see if we do go to war with them. As long as no one else wants to help them out, because if no one wants to help them out, we'll do pretty darn well. So. But if we do get into war, that's not good. Home and Hoth? Oh, that's good. That's really good to get. Yes, both these are very good to get. Uh, let's go over here and improve our guns. Cool. Let's go with two for now as well. Do we have enough guns? We're going to need a lot of guns for the future, so I don't really want to cut this down too much. That's looking not too bad. We need way more of this. Way more of this. Artillery is looking pretty darn decent as well. Uh, infantry divisions. This is from Austria. Uh, all these guys I don't really care about too much. These guys are 12 combo width. The Austrian Mountaineers are 12 Mountaineers width, but better. Cavalry is good for other things, such as garrisons. You guys are not bad. That'll cost 20 to get rid of that for, uh, I'll get rid of that for military police, we'll put. Schneller Divisions. Let's make sure we actually switch it around right now. There you go. Cool. Motorized. I don't care. I don't want to look at that stuff. Cool. If that's the case, no, I don't even care about that stuff either. Cool. You guys are going to be duplicated and form 40 combo with if we use them eventually. I don't know if we will. We probably will, but we'll see. Save for zero. In just a case, do that. Infantry. Get some more infantry on here because even though this is very uh, probably not very historical, actually the division maker here currently is very much not historical at all, but whatever. Three, and then four, and then one more. There you go. Boom. Pretty good. And here we'll probably throw on signal companies because we can. And I want to use anti-air, but I want some uh, some recon as well. That'd be fine. I do want some recon. Field hospitals would be nice, but get some anti-air. There you go. That'd be nice. I'm not sure we'll use them. We'll see what happens. These guys are only 18 combat. With if we threw another thing of infantry on here, we would have enough guns. So there you go. Infantry are at least 20 combat with as well. So 
Actually, there's no difference between two. These are actually technically better. Oh, I could have made these 20 combo with. Ah, whatever. As long as they're all 20 combo with and have enough strength, that's the most important thing. You're almost done anyway, so whatever. Oh, more, more divisions? Nice. As long as no one guaranteeing them, I mean, that's fine with me. Uh, well, alright. Demand Slovenia? Let's go and befriend Italy, just in case. Maybe Pact of Steel. That's be Octo after October. Alright then. Uh, cleanse on Polish lands. anti counter Pact. That'd be good to do later on. Uh, we're pretty much all done with this stuff. We have to be at War's Begun, though. Provo pro uh, promote Volksgemeinschaft. Ordnungspolizei. Let's do this one, because it's two weeks. It's pretty short. Pan-German nationalism must be one of the main national focuses of our government. Cool. Get some more organization first. See what we can do. Where are our planes? Are you 50s? Not. Oh, dude, we sent volunteers to China. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Let's get on up to a little bit more fighters. This is not very much, obviously, but it'll work for now. There you go. Let's get some more organization. Oh, well, they joined the Allies. Good luck with that. Get in a little bit more organization first. Cool. Now, I know this is not very historical, but we can do this anyways. Let's see what we can do. Now, they join the Allies, then we'll have a little bit of a problem on our hands, but we'll see. We'll definitely see what happens. With three provoke. Because I want to do it the war has begun. A state of war now exists in Europe. We shall now see if our preparations have paid off. And we're losing down here, which is not very good. And fighting over the river is always a bad thing. We might not be able to do well here, but Olympia. Oh, look at that. Olympia, Lenny Riefenstahl's new documentary about the 36th Berlin, Olymp Berlin Olympics has been released in Berlin. It's another success. Sure to win a war drone this time. Nice. Wants to play historical, and then he just decides to invade Switzerland. Hey, man, if you can invade Switzerland, I'm pretty sure you would want to, too. Wouldn't you? There we go. Good luck. Good luck, guys. You're going to need it. Especially breaking over the river and the mountains. This way, we have another way to get into France. Which is why we did it like this. And since we're at war, can we do anything else here? Uh, high, military High Command. Oh, my goodness. More artillery attacking defense. Wow, that is really good. Armor division attacking speed. Oh, supply consumption goes down slightly. Division entrenchment. Max entrenchment. Not bad. School of Maneuver. Oh, that's, that's really good, too. You know, I think because I wanted to do armor, and we're a mobile warfare anyways, I think we're just going to choose whoever we will choose for armor. I really want to maximize armor. And let's go with, I guess, Rommel, more supply consumption. Eh, it's not really worth it. I'd rather get Heinz. I'd rather get Heinz. Oh, their forces are back. That's fine. Cool. Civilian rations? Uh, rationing, you get better consumer goods trade to the Soviet Union. That's not bad. Further increased military spending. Civilian rations. A set of rations will be necessary to ensure the military has enough resources. Actually, we're probably losing quite a few guys doing it like this. They've already lost 4,000, though. If they're one dung by. Oh, we've actually won there, right there. Not bad. How much manpower does, do these guys have, actually? 15,000, that's not much. Our extent of conscription. So that's not too bad. And we've already started pushing in here, so that's not bad. Oh, we pushing in here, too. Someone got here, too. We need to help push over the river. And then we'll attack there too. Oh, guys, I'd rather have you guys have attack. Zurich. Is it smart to do? And 38? Probably not, so. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. I mean, it is costing us a lot of guys, don't get me wrong. I mean, this is pretty costly, but whatever. And bring in plundered factories. Sure. Oh, that's 80 days. Holy crap. Compulsory training? Oh, yeah, why not? All males, especially university students, shall be made to go through the mandatory essay training. So we'll get rid of the essay already. This guy's looking pretty weak. Food supplies are slowly going down, and we'll be here, and then we can attack Zurich some more. Yeah, don't don't worry about that one. You guys go this direction, because you're actually over the river. Now, so we're slowly pushing in. That's going to take a lot of guys, but this does give some good army XP, which is nice. Some very good army XP, actually. And Japan continues to go to war with, on, with, war with other people. Yeah, we're taking a lot of losses here. Probably a really bad idea to do this, but I just, I just wanted to go to war, man. At least we got green air. It's not great. But pounds account back in threes. Let's go over here and do this one too. Good. These guys are completely cut off, which is nice. Makes us a little bit stronger. 
And Europe is just like, eh, whatever. What are we doing? More military factories. That's what we're doing. Two, three, go four. I've got enough of this that we do need to research some more screens. We really, really need to get some more screens. Into medium tanks, it's fine. Throw on two for now. We're going to be mostly using the tanks, light tanks for now. Kampfgruppa, which is nice. Uh, we're going to go and try to do fire brigades. We need more organization. We just need more organization, period. Good. Those guys are dead. 27,000 is quite a few guys, but hey, let's take out Switzerland. Compulsory training is nice. And I guess... Ooh, Trade with the Soviet War. We are technically at war still, so... Convert factories. Move production underground. The new Nuremberg Rally. A large rally in Nuremberg would help demonstrate the National Socialist Regime's ability to command its people. Why not? Why not? We lost 30,000 versus 65,000. Not bad, not bad. And once these guys are gone, they're gone for good, so... Is that to remember? Oh, and we got him. My apologies, that took quite a while and a lot of losses, but it is what it is. Yeah, I'm just going to do that just in case. That's a lot of line to hold. That's, hmm. But no matter. My apologies. I did say I wanted to do it historically, but apparently we're not very doing it very historically now. Uh, you guys go right there, actually, because you're going to defend over here, too. But the tanks. Ooh, where do we want to put the tanks? Maybe right here-ish? How many forces they got? None. Uh, break over the river, go up there. That'd be nice. Occupation of Switzerland. What are we going to do here? Switzerland is now under control. Should we release this as a puppet? Uh, I, I don't want to do that, but can we actually integrate them later on, maybe? I don't know. I think it'd be best if we did that. Let's do that one first so we don't have, have a lot of resistance. We don't get the factories. But now they're under us. Robert Tobler. No national focus. They're still doing their stuff. They kind of unique focus, too. Neutral focus. Approach Germany. Reduce military spending. Well, at least they're under us now. And it gives a little bit bigger of a border between us and France. So. Nuremberg Rally, not bad. Keep one, two, three, four, five. Keep making a lot of roads as well. That'd be good. And you guys did okay. We had quite a few losses. We're going to need way more military factories from here on out, though. Uh, guns are looking fine. We're going to improve that by one more. We need way more motorized. Go do that one, too. Let's get one more thing of this as well. That'll be a little bit better. And actually, go here. We need divisions to help hold the land here. Everyone's going to train right now. Because that gave us a lot of good information and a lot of experience. So, at least in my mind, it did. Army 1, can you duplicate that again? Yes, you guys go right there. Actually, at this point, we're going to go 4 millis. We're going to need more. I lied, 5. We're going to go 5. Oh, 6, whatever. We, we didn't need millis. Cool. So we're really building ourselves up now. Yeah, we're really, really building ourselves up. And we get down the street a little bit more, so that's not too bad. Uh, expand the cult of personality. We could. New and national holiday. Racial law. That looks cool. We'll do that one a little bit later. Uh, let's, uh, demand Slovenia? I know this is not very historical, but whatever. We'll do claims on Polish land. We could do that. Anti-communist pact. Anti-communist pact. I'm not really sure what is technically historical, but create the Luftwaffe, maybe. Our new Air Force, the Luftwaffe, will bring a new dimension to the battlefield. Not bad. And so, since you guys are here, go and train. We could use you guys training right now. There you go. And there you go. 10 divisions. And then 11 divisions. I don't know why it's 11, but whatever. Alright, 38. We need 1940 for that stuff. The stuff I'm going to ignore for now. Land doctrine, we're doing pretty darn well. 39. Anti tank stuff. We have to wait. Oh. We need to research. Oh, this stuff. Okay, that's cool. Support companies, 38. Better engineers might be pretty good. To get. Create the Luvafa. And Weber's strategy bombering stuff. I can probably be ignored for now. Heavy, heavy tanks, light tanks. I'll do light tanks. Uh, medium tanks, defensive procedures. Uh, support brigades. Eh, expand the Kriegsmarine. Now that we're openly rearming, we should develop a navy worth any world power. Very true. Cool. Oh, von Klug is a. Oh, I made him a general? I made him a general. Why did I make him a general? Uh, let's improve you with lids. There you go. Hemant Hoth. Rigid white integration would be good. We'll do it later on. And actually, why can't we do this stuff down here? Oh, we need more equipment. Oh, we need, oh, we need towed anti-tank. Okay. So maybe we'll get some anti-tank eventually, too. Anti-tank. We can just set one over here. That's fine. 
expand the Kriegsmarine. And we did, I did, I don't think I addressed this yesterday, but overall, like, I asked you guys in the first episode which way we should go. And overall, we're going to go with the trade interdiction since we're already down this path anyways. So we can focus a little bit on the Navy. Carl Dönitz's proposed naval strategy uses subs to starve enemy countries of their imports, as he says. Preventing British ships from using their oil is the same as sinking them. I want these guys to get attacked really hard. But keep going. Make more millies, 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 millies. We go. Loads and loads of millies. And lots of roads, too. We love roads. And we might integrate these guys later on. There you go. And those roads are done, too. Nice. Alright, after that... Uh, other comments include Ernest Ernst Röhm was an interesting fellow. We'll put it like that. Yes, he had many lot of lot of fun activities that Mr. Hitler did not like too much, but he had a lot of fun activities. We'll put it like that. But the second demand, Slovenia, that might be a little bit too soon. Uh, let's do the fortify the West Wall. We must reconstruct the Siegfried Line to defend Germany in case of attack. We'll do that just in case. That'd be probably pretty smart to do next. Other comments include, get some bicycle divisions. We'll see. I don't know. Bicycle divisions are okay. That means more production of bicycles, though. Instead of production on, like, guns and such. Even though we do, like, faster divisions. That's what we have tanks for. Some light tanks. Actually, these tank divisions, how are they doing? Panzer divisions. How many medium tanks do we have? 34. That's really not good enough. Because to do this, we have minus 3600. But we would have a little bit more, few more light tanks to work with. Not much. But at least a little bit. There you go. Go five. Gun-wise, we're doing okay. Motorized, oh my goodness, we're just so out of all sorts of stuff. That's why we're, we're ramping up production here. Um, I might consider just making a new task force here. But research next will be for destroyers. It has to be for destroyers next. But that's the case. Tank stuff. We are using, we will be using medium tanks. So what I want to do to light tank stuff, unless it's for like a soft attack and stuff. Production cost goes down, more speed. I kind of prefer the reliability and armor, but... Uh, armor... And you get soft attack and reliability, that's pretty good. We're going to get more research for that stuff anyways. So keep going with one milli, if we can. Wow, we built ourselves up very nicely. One civvy, I mean. So one civvy working at all times. So we made so many millies. Good, more divisions. Cut half you guys down go there. Or just get you all down and go there. There you go. You guys should do more than fine over here. Everywhere else, we're going to look a little weak. That's okay. MG34 is not bad. It is almost 1939, 1938 still at the time of this. Research would be so good to do, though. Get more research speed. But I did say we won't get destroyers, so. 199 days. Oh, I should have researched that before. Oh, my goodness. That's so long to wait. So long. And so this is done. Next, early digital computer. Go and grab some atomic research. No, we're going to grab this stuff. We have enough naval XP for it, so. There you go. We want to get that stuff done as fast as possible. After we fortify the West Wall, just in case... We could probably befriend Italy. Oh, that's not very historical, but demand Slovenia. We could should demand Slovenia from the Yugoslav nation in order to grow our nation. Provide a way to go to war with them or both. Operation Panzerfaust. Operation Margaret. I would like to do both of these on each side. Operation Margaret the second. Alliance with Romania. I like it both. I like to do that one actually. This one's probably better. Ally Hungary. That'd be good to do eventually. Yeah, I'm definitely not doing historically right now. My apologies, but it is what it is. Hmm. You guys, actually go low, go low. I want divisions to be able to reinforce for now, so that'll be good. Hitler expands SS Quartz. Although the Hauptamt SS Gerich has existed for several years now, Himmler has increased funding for the SS Court main office in order to find and prosecute enemy agents and disloyal saboteurs. Alright, and eh, just finish it off, why not? We actually might need a second army here too, because we don't have to call in our allies technically, so that might be really good to do. More millies? Oh, good, good, good. Do that, do that, do that. I'll get into three, actually. And then do that some more. We're out of rubber. That's fine. Just grab a little bit more. We're out of chromium. That's fine. Just grab a little bit more. We have enough to do here. Once we get to minus five for rubber, then we'll actually, instead of making more civvies, let's build one of these up right now first. There you go. And second Vienna Award, Operation Panzerfaust. What is this? Oh, although Horthy could cooperate with the government, we can assassinate him and install a National Socialist Party instead. Operation Margaret. We must go to war with Hungary in order to better control our borders. Second Vienna Award. We will threaten Romania to turn over northern Transylvania to the Hungarians, as many ethnic Magyars live there. Well, I don't know about that. Let's claim Polish lands. If we are to declare war on Poland, we should claim our sovereign land. 
Yugoslavia accepts. We now are able to occupy Slovenia. Yugoslavia's escaped our wrath. Nice. Works out for us. 229 factories, that's not enough. Keep training, keep training. Clans on Polish land are nice. To war with Poland? We'll do that eventually. Comment, anti commenter back. We must create a treaty with other states that affirms the anti comment the commenter as an anti civilization organization. Good. Very, very good. Fire brigades, good. Let's keep doing our land auction now. Backhand blow. Oh, that takes so long to do. Oh my goodness. Since we're here, let's make sure our mountaineers are actually okay as well. as Uh let's do that one. Get some arty, get some signals. Get of engineers. Let's go with we don't have enough. We'll do that one too. And maintenance, good hospitals. I'm going to air. Cool. More divisions, awesome. And Luchens, very nice. And we're making some anti-tank, right? Because we need that for these uh, SS divisions. Yeah, support artillery, light tanks. I mean, we just need it so much. We just need a whole lot. Uh, keep filling out this line here. These guys are good. I'm just a little worried about this side. So, we've got to be keeping an eye on that. anti commentary Pact. Anti-Soviet Pact. Engineer 3s. It is 1939. Everyone happy 1939. Let's get some more construction and then some more output as well. anti commentary Pact. Good. The Germans have begun a multinational effort to denounce the Comintern as an anti- as an anti-nation organization. How should we join? Uh, yeah? I think we kind of came up with that, but okay. Treaty of Kalanis, Ultimatum of Lithuania. Offers? Well, Ultimatum. Maimalan is currently under the control of Lithuania. We must demand its return or Lithuania will face war. Very good. Keep making more, 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 more carrier fighters. Ignite this stuff. We have enough carriers as well. Fighters for our carriers, so. Go even more. We need way more planes. Way, 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 way more. Let's grab another thing of rubber. Loads of rubber. Lots and lots of rubber. Lots of milli factories for now. Tons and tons and tons will be made. Lower by three then. Keep going. We need way more support equipment. They return it. The Lithuanian government has decided to turn Memeland to the Reich. The economy will suffer, but what do we care? Nice. Heim's in the Reich. Operation Beige? We could probably do that, but we don't need to do that for now. War with Poland? We'll probably get that one later in the episode. Second Vienna War? We don't need to do that one yet. Unternehmen and Grün? Nah. From the RKB. War with France? We can wait for this stuff. Uh, let's keep doing stuff over here. Expand the cult of personality. Although Hitler's personality cult is established in German society quite firmly, we could use some further entrenchment. Very much so. Alright, so overall, motorized is looking pretty good now. Anti-air is looking quite a little bit better. Oh, do we not have enough what? What do we not have enough of? Civilian oversight? Uh, yeah, that's pretty good to do. That's pretty good, not gonna lie, that's pretty good. Got some civvies working, got some of those guys working, we got some death charges working, uh, hydrophones as well, just because as much as I want to get some output now, we're doing pretty darn well with what we have. The Spanish diplomatic situation. News arrives from our embassy in Madrid, it seems that the new Spanish government that just came out of the Civil War, while nationalistic, is reticent to join our alliance. Our agents also report an increase in British activities, a sign that the British are using subterfuge and intimidation to keep Spain out of the war. We should get involved too if we want to gain a new ally and access to Gibraltar. We shall convince them. Review the renew it. Our non-aggression pact with Poland technically lasts ten years. However, we should threaten to rescind the pact unless Danzig is returned to the Reich. Sure. Does not renew it. Poland has not renewed the non-aggression pact because they do not want us to take Danzig. Very well, the pact is cancelled. We can go to war soon. All right. So Spanish alignment towards us. The Spanish alignment or the alignment Spain has towards you impacts your diplomatic possibilities. If you get plus 10, they'll be able to join your faction, but Britain may take reprisals in the same way. If it gets too low, you'll be able to punish Spain in various ways before they join Britain. The Spanish are reticent to join our war. We should convince them with conventional diplomacy, subterfuge, and even force if needed. Send Canaris. Himmler state visit to Spain. Send Hans Lazar. Invite Falanges to Berlin. Demand an decrease in British trade. Offer economic relief. Remind them about our civil war help. Embargo them. Uh, send Hans, because he's... That's the most PP. That's a lot of PP, actually. That's a lot of PP. Oh, you guys are over here. Oh, look at these fighters. They're beautiful. Everyone's going to get at least one fighter. And by one wing, I mean one wing of fighters. Not one fighter. That'd be really sad. There you go. Over here, how many extra planes do we have? Not bad, actually, for planes. Duplicate it. Stukas, yes, please.
Not bad. Duplicate it. Go and train them too. We'll train these guys. That'll be fine. We're gonna have a pretty decent air force, especially against Poland, but it's Poland. What do you expect? We actually have two carriers ready to go. Nice! We will have supremacy on the seas, no matter what. Personality cult, thank you very much. There you go. And that the infantry are looking extremely good right now. But since we finished off pretty much all the top stuff, some new sub designs, construct new dockyards, light cruiser effects, heavy cruisers, larger ports. Uh that stuff is all okay. Let's prefer Italy a little bit more. We can work with the Italians against the common enemies. Seems like a good idea. We need more PP. Point nine a day is not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then some. We must have made that uh, synthetic oil group, which is nice. Uh, we're going to need just a tad bit more anti-air, because we have we need so much support equipment right now. Artillery is looking okay, not great. So close air support is looking okay as well. Fighters are looking okay as well. We just prefer to Italy. Pact of Steel, well, it kind of already did that, so we shall offer the Italians an alliance. In orders with the French and the British fronts. Second Vienna Award. Do we historically... I don't think it was gotten rid of, did he? Margaret? I don't mind going to war with them. Second Vienna Award, maybe. We will threaten Romania to turn over northern Transylvania to the Hungarians, as many ethnic Magyars live there. I don't know. I don't think that's the right one to do right now. All New England's side. The Order Police will serve as a national police, a step above the criminal police. They also serve as emergency fire brigades and coast guards. Seems very good. Oh, you guys know things. We don't have destroyer twos yet, which sucks. And we need more PP. The Spanish alignment towards us is one. You can probably close. Uh, uh, keep all these guys open for now. It's kind of probably good to do that for now. Uh, any since we're not at war, just go ahead and just keep training these guys for now. That's fine. Because we have three carriers, and these guys have joined the alliance. Ooh, we might actually have to make some coast guards then. Ooh, that's not bueno. If we want to, we can probably edit these guys. Duplicate them. Coasties. There you go. You can make four of them at a time, that's fine. You guys, not bad, not bad. We'll fill up both these arms, all three of these arms first, and then make another army for this side. Because they will probably hopefully attack us a whole bunch. I'm not too worried about Poland, though. Um, we have to do like a general attack. We could cut these guys off pretty quickly. I knew in Darkest Hour, Hearts of Iron game, that, uh... Actually, reminded me of our help in Civil War, this is that one. Uh, oh, three. That's pretty good. Um, that... If you get conquered them fast enough with, that, with minimal casualties, you actually get rewards for doing so. Which I thought was pretty cool. I don't think I was ever really good enough to do that, but... I thought it was, that was really cool to do, but still. Support equipment's not bad. Motorized is looking pretty good, too. And we need more rubber. We always need more rubber. Keep making more rubber, them. We are really running out of places here to build. And make more cities. Uh, to roll. Cool. Send one of you guys over there. At this point, I think we're, we're doing well enough on guns. I'm going to lower you by five a little bit more. That's fine. Get some more tanks, too. Actually, max out the tanks. I'm just worried about the Air Force. That's the most, the main thing I'm worried about is just the Air Force. There you go. Now it's a little bit better. We will call in Spain, uh, Spain, Switzerland too, just because I want to have a big old border with them and I want them to attack us quite a bit. Uh, Hoth. There you go. That's fine. Whatever. Everyone train if you need it. Just train. Those guys are good already. We have 255 factories, which is not too bad. Not too bad. Get more uh, those guys too, because we're going to need some more of that. Going to port a little bit more, because we could really use the extra stuff. Odung's Polizei. It is May 29th. Racial laws, now national identity. Uh, we'll probably do this one too. Oh no, we, we don't want to lose PP for now. Let's get more PP. A new national holiday. Hitler's birthday, much like the Kaiser's, will be a day of celebration and awards. It's pretty good, as it should be. All right, so at this point, we're going to cut down on these guys by one. So the next group they'll make is done. Come on, get those destroyers made. Or research, please, please, please. It's almost done. But then we're going to have to need to grab some of this stuff. But that's actually later on. So we can go ahead and make the destroyers, which is nice. And get some more output. So much preparations need to happen before we go to war, actually. Oh, boy. And you guys go over there. Well, yeah, we should be okay, definitely, on this side. Definitely should be okay. Then we'll go to war with these guys. They'll drain themselves on the line. We might actually be able to push the Magino, depending on how badly they kill themselves on our line. And now we can finally do this, too. Oh, we have no radar, but that'll be fine for now. That's fine. Level 2 is okay. Let's do that. We got more than enough naval XP. I'm glad we worked on that quite a bit. There you go. 
mine stuff, do anti-sub stuff. I hate the enemy subs. And get some more anti-air. That'd be good. Good. Just do one and then one. Since we already have two of these guys already. And then do two of these. Not bad. Speed is going to be key here. Hopefully we get maybe one out before the war starts. Oh, what are you guys doing? There you go. Three, four. How many carriers did we make? They're so cheap to produce compared to battleships. Oh my goodness, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Active sonar. Oh, we just started making stuff. God dang it. I should have waited. Whatever. We gave me that stuff too. Good, good, good. Come over here. Can we get some more uh, cap? Yes, please. Uh, we didn't even start making that stuff. That's fine. Whatever. It's not going to help out that, by that much, but it'll, it'll still help out. There you go. There you go. Not bad. Really not bad at all. Oh, towards one. There's one. What the heck? Invite Falanges to Berlin. It's probably not going to go very well for us, but we'll try it. Extraction would be good. Resources. Uh, it is 39. We could use some better artillery. Uh, but that can kind of wait just a little bit. We need to get some of this stuff. Better tanks. Yeah. Fuel usage goes down. Nice. It's June 20th. Spiage architecture. Racial laws. Forma of Pras. Let's go ahead and do war with... Oh, that would be kind of cool. French. War with France. Uh, that would not be bad either. We could actually use that right now. Is there anything else here we can do? War with Poland? Let's get that one done first. The time has come. We'll attack Poland in order to take our rightful land and impose our new order over the Poles. Very good. I can't believe we have five carriers. We have five carriers. Actually, do we not have... Ah. Nice. Good. Now that's what we want to see. And where are the other ships? You guys are all training out here. Oh, you are actually filled out already. Look at that. These guys are just good to go already. Nice. War with Poland would be nice. Baltic Treaty, beige, whatever. Um, I, th I really want to do this one. But, um, we're running out of unique things to do here. Support brigades, armor technology. As you construct new dock yards. With more dockers, we'll be able to build more ships. Makes sense. Good, good, good. We made a lot of military factories very, very recently. More casts. Fighters are looking okay. We will need more fuel. Eventually, we will not be able to trade for any more. You guys should be done and good. Thank goodness. Take half of you guys and plop them all right there. And up next, we'll throw you guys right there as well. Because uh, soon enough, we're going to have a ton of planes, hopefully. Tons and tons and tons of planes. Hopefully, we'll build some more in reserve. Not bad. Really not bad. Not great. But at least against the poles, we'll do okay. There you go. There you go. Just in case. Oh, we have some planes up here too. Nice. More fighters? Throw them right there. We do need to build up a little bit of supply. I will go to war on September 1st, though. So that'll be good. And we have expires when? Does not expire. That's very good. Let's do Hilmer State visit to Spain, maybe. Actually, too. Economic relief. Economic relief seems pretty good. Five? That's not bad. If we spammed all this at the same time, that might be really good. Paulus? Ooh, I don't know about Paulus, man. Oh, technically he hasn't done anything bad against us yet, just because war hasn't started, but whatever. Send Wilhelm Canaris? Seven, nice. We're getting closer. After we do that, we'll go ahead and do what? Anglo-German naval rivalry, probably. We shall continue to build up our navy despite agreements with the British. And here we are, everyone. September 1st, 1939. We're about to go to war with the Polish. But I do want to finish off some more of the comments before we get there. Uh, someone says my German pronunciations aren't terrible. They're adequate. I'd say they're adequate. Yeah, I'd say they're adequate. I used to take German in high school and college, but I don't remember a lot of it anymore. But pronunciations are still okay. Uh, we should focus more on the political side of the tree, especially the Nuremberg Rally, which I tried a little bit, but there's really not much else here. We'll continue doing some of the stuff, but... We'll get there eventually. Um, let's see. Focus more on the economy, someone says. Which we did. We did as much as we literally could for the economy on this side. So, and especially going to war early. Uh, get more naval aircraft, which we're, we're more than fine with, which we saw earlier. So one recommends we play in Equestria War, the uh, monarchist Aquilia path. At the time of this recording, I'm kind of done with Aquilia. Right now, I've done that at least four times. Surprise, surprise. There might be something coming very soon after this episode. As well as someone recommends we play as the United States in this mod. And I should show the French and Japanese focus trees currently. Okay, let's go do that real quick. Oh, they're doing air production. Lessons of the Great War. Reform the French High Command. Versus prepare for La Guerre de Longue Dure. Reorganize cavalry divisions into DLMs. Invest into the Maginot Line. Put more funds in armored units. Kind of cool. 
the London Conference, invite the Benelux, the Popular Front, of course, enforce neutrality in Spain, prepare mobilization, devalue the Franc. Uh, this is far left side already. A successful occupation of power, and then the Japanese focus tree, which we did see last time. It is disappointing that we don't really have much here, but this is pretty much all it is on the left side. A successful government, bureaucratic victory, army minister mediation, uh, accept military superiority, technocratic officers, and here is the entire right side. Uh, Japanese keys, kens, I never remember how to pronounce that word, I and mean, I just said about, stuff about pronunciation. Maintain an aggressive economic policy, a moderate fiscal policy, and conservative measures, reduce debt monetization, balance between extremes, economic reliance as well as expand heavy industry so there it is and i believe that most of the focuses yeah and this mod does use dynamic focuses depending on what choices you make you might do okay you might not do oh so well but it's time to go to war and we do have five carriers even though i'm leaving one of them out because that if we put in five carrier groups that would just be too much for the planes so let's see what happens i want to give myself a goal maybe we can win by the end of september we'll see what happens uh we're gonna invade though the war has come. For the last several years, we've been working towards a war for the fate of Europe. It's now time for the world to see what a nation can do with its back against the wall. 20 years after the humiliation of Versailles, Europe will be reshaped once more. However, this time, it shall be Berlin in command. Soon, our men will march across the continent and make their families proud. We have one goal. So, for a while, we get victory at all costs. More division speed, organization, attack, convoy rating efficiency, and focus on offense. Oh, we go from extensive conscription to service by requirement. Wow, look at that. And I've already deployed our ships to come out here, too. If we do a general attack, do we just win here? Uh, it doesn't look like we would be able to. Actually, can you guys just move into there very quickly? Take off two guys, take off two guys, and go up right there. And just go right there immediately. Could you do a general attack? The Polish, those guys have joined the war. Would that be possible to get all of our planes in the air at the start right now? You guys go right ahead. Oh, we're sucking from attrition too, aren't we? Operation Sea Line is bypassed, alright, as well as... Oh, the naval rivalry. Well, okay then. War with France has gone too, so I guess we'll do construct a larger ports. With a larger navy, there comes a larger need to supply them. We should immediately construct large ports capable of bringing supply to the fleet. Now, we're not winning everywhere, which kind of sucks. We're actually suffering from attrition over here, which is really bad. Wow, air superiority is very bad over here. You know, you'd think, when you get enough guys through here, we do okay, but apparently not. Wow, that really sucks. We are really sucking fat ones here. I need you guys to go, 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 go. Cut them off, light tanks. Go, 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 go. You need South Africa, huh? Uh, instead of taking there to do that. Ah, yeah, so, oh, so, okay. We'll do that one. Nice. Oh, uh, let's not attack where we're, where we're being very unsuccessful. There you go, do that. Alright, we sunk three subs and a convoy. And a convoy as well. Any more, uh, these guys? Oh! Yeah, I should have paid attention just a little bit more then. Actually, with all you guys, throw them on the line. We could probably really use it. Not bad. The Raj has been called in. We're sinking some British convoys. Very nice. We cut these guys off to start off. Very good, very good, very good. They're attacking us. We're attacking them. What's not to love? Pause and on. Four, six divisions here. Good. Kill them off. <clears throat> six divisions. Come on. They go bye bye. Go kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. Let the light tanks do what they're doing. They're doing a great job thus far. And break over to Königsberg. Uh, can you guys break over here, maybe? If you support this group with these guys... Oh, that is so bad over here. That is just so god-awful. Tanks, that's fine. They're still attacking us down here, which is actually... <clears throat> kind of what I wanted, actually. I'll be honest. That's just exactly what I wanted down here. Crown Colony. Good. Oh, these guys are still not dead. How are they not dead yet? We've lost 50,000 maybe? 62? Wow, that's pretty bad. We've got 100,000 Poles though, and 79,000 British folk. Not too shabby. Don't let them do anything here. Uh, keep attacking, keep attacking. You might actually be able to break through. Don't let them move in. No, you will not let them move in. No, 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 no. Yeah, keep seeing the guys over here, Britain. You're not gonna do un-France too, oh boy. They're still attacking like crazy. Which, actually, they are still attacking. I like that. They have a little bit of manpower. Hopefully we can do it well here. We're not going to definitely break them by the end of October, but whatever. Send some more guys down here. They need it. Oh, they actually push us out. That is so not good. So, so, so not good. We only have so much fuel as well, so. Construct a large, larger ports. Increase further, further increase military spending. If we're to survive, we must produce even more material. How can we not win here? How? 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 With air superiority. That makes literally no sense. 
I do not want to force the attack, because they have so many soldiers over there already. How does Poland have this many guys? Keep them in place, then. <clears throat> if they want to do it like this, then so be it. So be it. We'll cut off Danzig as well. Force them to die. Force them literally all to die. Uh, you're gonna... Oh, I do not want to do a general attack, but we're going to. Go out. They're focused so hard right here. Which means we're just gonna go out this way, then. Force this way. Go, 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 go. I don't care how many minutes, how much minute it takes. It doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Uh, they are attacking like crazy across the line here. That's insane. Cool. Get another division over here. I put them, just pop them right there. And the Soviet Union is trying to attack the French. Alright, well, whatever. Well, they definitely try to concentrate all their forces in one area, and that's not going to work out very well for them. Also, you don't know this, but I made these guys over here 40 combo with. That's why we're losing so many guys, or, you know, so much attrition. Because they're 40 combo with. Oh, if you could cut them off right here, that'd be so good. Get these guys come over here and take them out. Spurs industry, yeah, I'm not doing very well at all. Oh, that'd be good to do. Let's get some more excavation, because we could use these guys already. Oh, we need a lot more rubber. Uh, Belgium, not so much. Oh, it's not going to be good for us. Get another thing of rubber right there. Well, we've lost. We've lost way too many guys. Holy crap. We've killed off over 600,000 enemies, though. Ah, uh, this is not good. This is so not good for us. Yeah, I don't know. The Polish military is a bit too much. The foreign Soviet foreign minister himself has approached the government, proposing a non-aggression pact combined with mutual agreement regarding the territories of Eastern Europe. The Soviets proposed to give us Western Poland in exchange for the free hand in Eastern Poland, the Baltic, Finland, and Romania. Although we have politely not committed to anything yet, it's clear that we should make the final decision. Should we sign the pact? Yeah. Let him come on in. Let them come on in. Kill every single last pole here. Every single last one. Because, I don't know, but this just doesn't make any sense to me. Force the attack. I don't care what happens. Force it. We gotta win now. Get some more fuel. Guys, we gotta get some more fuel too. Ah, uh, we love the Soviet Union for right now. There you go. That should really bolster our fuels. Fuel supplies. Uh, don't worry about that right now. Force it. Literally just force them to die. I don't know how... Is, did Poland hold up... Did Poland did definitely not hold up this well in the war itself. There's no way they held, held up this, this well. Then again, I'm using a lot of infantry here, so... A lot of casualties being taken. And this is completely inefficient, but still. Guys, go in. You've got to go in. 30... Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Poland... The, okay, that, that kind of does piss me off, though. That doesn't make any sense. Why are there 30... 26 British divisions here? 26! That doesn't make any... Historically, they were never there. No wonder we're losing. It's because of the British soldiers that have shown up here. I'm not going to give it the attack. No, I don't care what, what it takes. No. This is stupid. No wonder we can't win. Completely cut them off. Completely cut them off. I don't care how many men it takes. That is so stupid. How does... Yeah, I don't know. That might have to get reworked sometime. That is beyond stupid. Look at all that. There should not be 50 divisions of allies in here already. That's so dumb. That's incredibly stupid. 50 divisions. No wonder we lost a third of a million soldiers. Because we'd killed off 1.25 million allies already. That's so stupid. I'm not expecting easy victories, but Jesus Christ. And of course, Slovakia. We'll take some stuff. We definitely need some stuff now. Uh, well, I guess we have to set up some camps then. A lot of camps. So we're doing okay here. We definitely need more millies, though. And some more fuel. Mm, keep going with that. There we go. Cool. So, because of this... How many French people have we cut off? Ha over half a million of the UK. Um, What else down here? Over half a million of the French Republic soldiers. They're almost out of manpower. On the description. Is that... Democratic Socialists. Okay. And we'll take you guys and head on over here through... That. Uh, we'll do one at a time. At least they haven't tried to naval invade us yet. Just no wonder we couldn't break them that fast. Cool. Ah, oh, good. And these are going to be our garrisons. Yeah, that many allied soldiers is a bit extreme. Uh, Paulus? <laughs> okay, you don't even get a portrait? Alright then. Just in case.
Cool. Oh, we still have a group down here. Uh, that's fine. Take you guys. Use the tanks and such to go down here. I know our divisions aren't that great, but still, like, that many guys? That's a bit extreme. Oh, oh there we go. Head on straight down here, too. Actually, you guys are not too bad. I might throw you guys over here, but no, nah, I want them to be baited into attacking us a little bit more. I'm going to wait for these guys. Just go and hang out around Lithuania, maybe. And we will do the second Vienna Award. How about Spain is six. Um, decrease trade and write the Phalangists. Let's see what other eight. Uh, von v uh, uh, Rommel. And let's go ahead and do trade with the Soviet Union. Yeah, let's do this one. Bring in plunder factories. Uh, it's 80 days. Oh, my goodness. Trade with the Soviet Union. Trading with the Soviet Union can give us vital supplies while we prepare to attack them. Very good. Offer economic relief. Hey, they're 10. Go join your... Great! Great! Oh, they're looking extremely bad around here. Are they getting in... Well, take out Gibraltar. Sure, why not? And why does Slovakia own that? Well, we're going to need some extra reinforcements here, so let's wait maybe a little bit. Look how bad they're... I mean, even if we att attack here, it's still super bad around here. And we need time to repair our, like, depletion of guns and all sorts of stuff right now, because it's so bad. 0.83. Well, at least they joined us. And they're attacking Spain, or attacking... Spain's attacking Spain. They're attacking France through the southern portion. If that's the case, you guys are getting closer and closer. Well, I'll just put you right here then. I don't want to attack through the Magino, but they're looking fairly weak. Eh, I don't want to do that one. We'll just go through probably Belgium and the Netherlands as fast as possible. Uh, do we have any spare planes? How are our ships doing? They're doing okay around here. Not bad, but I would prefer you guys over here now. Because I'd already put planes that cover this area as well. Give us a few days to get more supplies as well, too. That'd be important. Alright. Get some more guns. We need 30 guns. We got plenty of medium tanks. Let's get rid of some of these uh, light tanks that we have. Oh, that's fine. Reset. Oh yeah, we have more than enough light tanks. That'd be good. Very good. And you guys just go here. There you go. <clears throat> the next focus we will do, we'll, we'll go to War of the Benelux. As, which is weird to do right now, but whatever. Around the Maginot? Attack Belgium? Around the Maginot, probably. Yeah. Going around the Maginot will be easier if we go through Belgium. And going through the Netherlands will make it easier to attack Belgium. We're going to attack them anyways. What's the difference? We'll do that one next. Because these guys are doing very well, actually. Well, at least for now. We got some more attack done. Let's grab some more atomic research, maybe. Uh, it's almost 1940. Uh, we need that anyways. Whatever. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. You guys are attacking? Yeah, it's a bit extreme to do that, guys. All you guys up here, though, should do okay. Be able to push in. You guys are... Oh, you're still... Oh, that's not good. We're going to use our tanks and hopefully just bomb rush to the Netherlands, which would be nice. Trade the Soviet Union and now attack the Netherlands around the Maginot. Attack them all. All of them will die. And we can probably close that out. So, uh, Donuts? Yes. Yes, I love Donuts. Anything around here yet? Anything in terms of ships? Hey, we've got a destroyer. Are they landing? Construction spinning? Oh, that's not good. Oh, southern Spain. Okay, that's not good for them. That's alright. Because we're about to open up a whole new theater in about a week. Are you guys ready to go? Oh, these guys definitely are. I'm not. Gonna, I'm only going to attack when we take out Luxembourg. We've lost 400,000 people so far, which is not very good. But our allies have killed off 1.65 million. I would say that's pretty okay. Not great, but okay. Get more dockyards too. We need dockyards. Get two and grab some more of this. Boom, boom. Around the Magino, not bad. And then we'll do Unternehmen Grun from the RKB. Uh, what else do we want to do? Trade for Romanian oil? Yes, please. The oil fields at Pulesti are is nearby, and a friendly Romania will sure to allow us to use their resources. We're going in immediately. No stopping the brakes here. What was that? Pillar Society. Go in immediately. And we'll, once these guys are defeated, we will go to war with Belgium next. And they're attacking the Western Mediterranean. Nice. And give it five more seconds. The tanks are doing great. We're doing very well. Once we take the capital, let's go in. Go to war as well. Leopold III will die as well. Improved oil processing. Great. It is 1940, everyone. Happy 1940. That's 1941 stuff, actually. How about down here? What is this here? 1941 as well. So, that's not too bad. 
Yeah, land doctrine's coming along. Let's get some more artillery as well. And go to war with these guys too. Good. That's fine, that's fine. You guys will be okay for now. That'll be alright. We're not attacking down there. That'd be crazy. They join the allies. That's fine. We should be able to move pretty quickly through here. Especially... Uh, oh! Amsterdam is surrounded and has been cut off. And they're dead. Alright, light tanks. Your goal is to keep going, going, going. Go straight through here as fast as possible. Kingdom of Netherlands has capitulated, giving us their guns and resources. That's so much better for us. Oh my goodness. Now that the Belgians put all the divisions over here, we're just going to go around them. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And they're gone. Go, 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 go. Come on, guys. Go, 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 go. Once they weaken their line, we're going to do a general attack around here, too. Oh, this is good. This is really good. No Dunkirk today. They won't join the Axis. Italy has made an offer to be admitted into the Axis. Luckily, due to our military successes early on in the war. Let them in. Why not let them in? We way more rubber. Holy crap. All right. Gun-wise, we have 13,000. We need way more artillery, which means we're going to need way more tungsten. We need way more rubber. Holy big daddies. Holy Ernst Rums. Rums, yes. Oh my goodness, we need to build so many more of these things. That's not good. Go, go, go. And they want to move? Uh, I still don't do that yet. They join the Axis. Can we call them into the war? Help out Spain? This is very historical with these guys, with the Spanish in our war with us. Uh, next, oh, are they just finding somebody? Albania, maybe? Yugoslavia? That's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and do... Operation that's I want to do that one next. Despite Sweden's neutrality policy, we'll invade them to secure their northern resources, pretty much. Three. Two. One. Let's go in. We need those planes in the air now. And to keep pitting them in the side, so. They can't move their divisions. We've lost 500,000. Not quite that much, actually. We've killed off how many French? Oh, there goes the French. Oh, there goes those guys. So, uh, three quarters of a million. Already. Wow. Operation Vesa Umbung, Finland. Let's wait to do that stuff, and we'll do Valtavev's strategic bombing strategy. Valtavev's strategic bombing strategy shall be our operational policy. We will focus on destroying the enemy's capabilities to arm ourselves or arm themselves, earning us an easier victory. Oh, you thought it was going to be difficult, huh? Force it. Oh wait, no, force it, force it, force it, force it, force them to die, force them to die. Even though we're not winning here. We are causing them a lot of problems. Go in, boys. Go in. France is going to be a rump state triumph in France already. Our victory in France is nearly complete. The French government has asked for an armistice, and our diplomats have prepared terms which they have agreed to. They will take control of southern France and we, while we are free to occupy the rest. Of course. Easy. By 1940 February. Not very historical at all, but... Oh, well. And it's lagging super, super hard right now. And let's finish off the enemies. Oh, would you look at all this? Oh, look at that. Oh, yes, please. Hey, everyone, finish them off. Not bad. And send the tanks down here. We do not need any sort of issues down here at all. And go right in. And Luxembourg is gone, and we'll finish this off. Not too bad. I say that's pretty good. Yeah, I can use a few more guns just in case. Oh, uh, those poor divisions. But I think we'll end the episode there. We've done very, very well. Next up, we will do... Oh, uh, we can do some more bonds immediately. And we need to make some SS division occupation of these guys. Uh, we could probably do that immediately. Let's do it together. Why not? Capture Paris. The German people are very bitter about their loss in the Great War. The only way they will be sated is victory. Either in diplomacy or war. Okay. Oh, uh, actually, Capture Paris. We'll fail if, we've, if we do not control it. Uh, actually, we probably want to control it then. Occupation of the Netherlands... The Netherlands are now under our control, and there are several options for territorial arrangement. How should we organize a territorial unit? Annexing directly? Ooh, you know what? I'll leave this up to you guys. Should we create a territorial unit, which is probably more historical, or do we just directly annex into the Reich, which we do have a flag there? But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we continue with our war machine across Europe. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.